Good evening, children. My name is Monica Brown, and welcome to the Flagstaff Festival of Science. I'm excited to read you my book, Charuco, El Arqueologo Julio C. Teo. Charuco, Peruvian archaeologist Julio C. Teo. This is a nonfiction book about a Peruvian hero. And as a Peruvian American, I am very excited to share this story with you. This is the story of Julio C. Tello, one of the most important archaeologists of the Americas. He was born in Peru on April 11, 1880, in the rugged highlands just outside the capital city of Lima, in the shadow of the Andes Mountains. Julio and his family were indigenous. Their ancestors had lived in this region of Peru for generations. They spoke Quechua, the language of the great Inca Empire that is still spoken by many native people in Peru. As a boy, Julio was brave and curious. This earned him the nickname Charuco, which means brave in Quechua. Charuco was always seeking, searching, and exploring the caves and burial grounds he found in the foothills of Pariacaca, a snow-covered peak in the Andes. He was fascinated by the bones and pottery and other mysteries hidden in the earth. Nothing scared Charuco, not even the skulls he and his brothers uncovered in ancient tombs. For centuries, the indigenous people of Peru were treated unfairly and faced discrimination. This started in the 1500s when Spanish soldiers invaded Peru. The Spanish were looking for gold and when they found it, they claimed the land and its riches for themselves. They established control by killing many native Peruvians and rejecting their belief systems. The Spanish destroyed temples and cities, all in the pursuit of wealth and power. Although the Spanish tried to destroy Peru's indigenous language, culture, and customs, they were kept alive and passed on from generation to generation by families such as Charucos. When he heard the stories of his ancestors from his father, Charuco felt proud of his heritage. He thought everyone in Peru, not just indigenous people, should know these stories and be proud too. The skulls Charuco and his brothers discovered in the tombs were human skulls. Their father sent the skulls to Lima to be studied by scientists who wanted to understand more about ancient peoples. But to Charuco, the skulls were not just bones from the past. They felt like a part of him, part of his present and his future. At school, Charuco was called Julio, and he was an excellent student. His favorite aunt, Tia Maria, who worked in Lima as a maid in the presidential palace, wanted to help further his education. She decided to use some of the money she earned to bring Julio to the city to study. In 1893, when Julio was just 12 years old, he traveled with his father on horseback to Lima. Although leaving his family and his home was difficult, Julio lived up to his nickname. He was brave and unafraid. He was eager to learn more and make discoveries. About two years after Julio moved to Lima, his father died. Even though Tia Maria was paying his school fees, Julio struggled to survive in the city and continue his studies. But he did not give up. He earned money by carrying luggage for travelers at the train station. He also worked in a surgeon's office. Julio was fascinated by what he learned there and it inspired him to study medicine at the National University of San Marcos. At medical school, Julio met the son of Ricardo Palma, a famous Peruvian writer and director of the National Library of Peru. Julio's intelligence and curiosity caught Palma's attention, and soon Palma hired Julio to work in the library. One day in the library, Julio came across an article about the skulls he and his brothers had found as children. This discovery renewed Julio's pride in his ancestry. 
he decided to devote his medical skills to the study of indigenous history in Peru. Julio began examining the skulls himself. He found evidence that successful brain surgeries had been performed. He also studied mummies and identified common diseases and how they had been treated. Julio realized that his indigenous ancestors were gifted and resourceful healers. After a few years, Julio wrote an award-winning report about his findings, which impressed the leading scholars of Peru. Soon people all over Lima were talking about Julio C. Tello and his wide knowledge of Peru's ancient history and people. In 1909, after graduating from medical school, Julio sailed to the United States to attend Harvard University. There, he focused on anthropology and archaeology, learning more about the ancient peoples of the Americas through the studies of bones, tools, and other items they left behind. Julio received his graduate degree from Harvard in 1911. He then traveled to Europe to continue his education and teach. He returned to Peru in 1913 and worked as an archaeologist at the Museum of Natural History in Lima. Julio spent time observing and recording native ceremonies and farming activities, which helped him understand the daily life of ancient Peruvians. In 1919, Julio made an amazing discovery while working at the Chavín de Juantar archaeological site near the Marañón River north of Lima. At the site, he found art, structures, and other evidence that proved indigenous Chavín culture had been established more than 3,000 years earlier, making it the oldest culture then known in Peru. Before this discovery, scientists believed that indigenous Peruvian culture had been introduced from Central America, Mexico, and even China. Julio had the courage to argue against this popular belief, and eventually the scientific world realized he was right. Peruvian culture had grown from its own soil. In 1927, Julio began investigating the archaeological site of the Paracas people south of Lima. The Paracas were an indigenous group who lived more than 2,500 years ago. They had an amazing knowledge of irrigation and water systems and produced some of the most beautiful textiles the world had ever seen. Julio also discovered an ancient cemetery with mummy bundles that showed how the Paracas people honored those who died. Throughout his life, Julio was always seeking, searching, and exploring, and he worked to protect and preserve the historical treasures he found. But that was not enough. He believed that what had been uncovered at Chavín de Juantar, Paracas, and other archaeological sites belonged to all Peruvians. He wished for them to know the beauty of their ancestors and the living history of indigenous Peru. In 1939, Julio's wish came true. He was appointed director of the new Museum of Anthropology, where his discoveries were on display for all Peruvians to see. Julio C. Tello died on June 3, 1947. He was the first and greatest indigenous archaeologist of Peru, and he is still beloved by Peruvians. Before him, stories of Peru's history were told by outsiders and focused on events following the Spanish conquest. But Julio proved that Peru's history began long before that. The great civilizations of his country's past were thousands of years old. Thanks to the smart, brave, and curious man once known as Charuco, people around the world today know of Peru's long history and its living native culture and customs. And now Peruvians tell their own stories. The end. And remember, children, to be brave and curious, just like Sharuko.